What's up guys, Grim here, bringing you guys another guide and this time it's how to gear out your character once it hits level 60. And this is for PvP specifically, so this is not a PvE guide in any way, any form, and do not use it for that. Okay guys, what I'm going to show you is what people normally do and what you do not want to do. Okay, most people will go to this vendor or go to the Rift store and buy up Freelancer gear as fast as they can because they're thinking that they need to fill up those slots. Their terrible green gear that they had in their 50s is really going to weigh them down in the war fronts and they want to get this Freelancer gear. It's so much better. No. No. Do not do that. Uh, if you're able to buy these items before you get to level 60, go ahead and buy up as many of them as you can if you want. Uh, it might not let you, I don't remember if it allows you to uh, buy up the gear before you're level 60. But if you can do it, but if not, don't worry about it. Spend your favor all you want if you like. There is no reason to rush into freelancer gear. And the reason for that being is that if you look, all of this gear that you see here, except for a couple pieces, is going to be bolstered once you get into Warfronts and Conquest matches. And what bolstering is, is that if you have an item that is not a PvP item, um, it will make it into Freelancer level gear. And it's a way to help newer players get into Warfronts and not get destroyed too bad and it's a great system actually so all of this gear gets made into freelancer gear so what do you spend your favor on well there's three items that do not get bolstered it is your trinket your your synergy crystal and your seal both those three items will not get bolstered so you need to get PvP items into those three spots everything else needs to be filled up with an item even your essences no matter how terrible the item that you're putting in there you need to have an item there for it to be bolstered if you are missing uh, an essence or something it will not bolster the empty spot so fill up all of your gear and then focus on filling up the three items that do not get bolstered. Put PvP items there. Well, the first place that you want to probably go is right here. And this is where you buy your seal, your first seal. As you can see, it's the mercenary seal. It's 37,500 favor, which is the PvP currency. So buy up this item so that you can put it into your seal spot and you can upgrade it pretty easy number two the number two thing that you want to do if you've been doing war fronts you may have the favor well the reputation to buy this item it requires ridge runner mercenaries reputation to be at revered so if you've got the reputation go ahead and buy up this item it's 65,000 favor and it is your trinket well, if you're a fresh level 60 and you do not have the reputation required to buy this, there is another trinket that you can buy and it is usually in your capital city of whatever faction you are. If you're a Defiant, it's in Meridian and it's in the PvP area. You, on one of the vendors there, you can buy a trinket that does not require fa uh, reputation of any, any sort and yeah, you can use it at fresh level 60 and it's a PvP trinket. But once you do get the reputation, this is the trinket that you want to buy because you can upgrade it and all that good stuff. All right, so the last item that you want to get that does not get bolstered is you can buy it from the Rift Store or you can go to some of the PvE area in Tempest Bay to buy it but it's your synergy crystal and you can buy it through the rift store just open that up go to equipment go to accessories and don't worry about all this go way down here to the gilded ones the take for instance let's say I'm a champion build warrior and 
yeah this is the crystal that I want to get and you can see the bonuses there you see where if you have two of the set there it increases your attack power by 60 well that set bonus is for freelancer gear so your crystal will not do anything good right off the bat until you start buying the freelancer gear but you want to make sure to get this because it's it's infinity stones it's not favor so you can start spending your favor on freelancer gear once you've gotten those two other items and then spend some infinity stones to get this because this is one of your slots that's not going to get bolstered so while you're getting freelancer gear this is the crystal that you want to use you know well whatever spec that you're using but you want to use the gilded crystals and put it into your synergy spot once you start upgrading to warlord gear you know the next level up from freelancer you will have to upgrade your crystal to the next area here and this is the champion one see it requires you to have the gilded version and then 4,500 infinity stones and then you can get the next crystal but none of its bonuses will work unless you have warlord gear so if you have two pieces of warlord gear it'll do that first bonus there if you're still in all freelancer gear you want to keep the gilded crystal and not upgrade because if you upgrade you won't get any bonuses because it's the warlord version there and then you can go up to the glowing versions up here once you get into uh, Myrmidon gear. Okay, so we've gotten those three slots filled up, the three slots that's not going to get bolstered. Then you want to start getting your Freelancer gear. Now you might be asking yourself, why buy Freelancer gear if everything's going to be bolstered? What's the point of it? Well, the point is that not only is it the first level of PvP gear that you have to have in order to upgrade to Warlord gear, as you can see, the ring there, you know, if you look down at the bottom, it shows that this item can be upgraded into another item. Well, you have to have this item in order to upgrade it. So you have to have all of your Freelancer gear in order to upgrade it all to Warlord. And, or... I'm sure you can buy it from the store but this is the traditional way of doing it and also another reason to have all of this freelancer gear is so that you can rune it out to put runes on it and possibly even dreamweaver orbs and if you're curious what runes to use on what items I have a video already on how to rune out a warrior what runes to use on what particular items and you're you might be asking yourself why rune it out runes are expensive and you're going to be upgrading this gear to warlord in no time well the reason why you do rune it out is because there are very cheap runes as in uh, 10 platinum each kind of thing so if you watch my guide I show you the cheap runes to use and then I also show you the more expensive ones but I don't recommend you use the expensive ones until you get up to Myrmidon level uh, the freelancer gear gets upgraded really fast and warlord gear gets upgraded decently fast but I would still use the cheaper runes on warlord gear because it gets expensive you know those those more expensive runes are very expensive so yeah I've got a warrior rune guide uh, I will in the future be making a mage rune guide as well as a cleric rune guide and who knows at the time of this video by the time you're watching this video those guides may be already made but if you're watching this as it's just being posted I have not made those guides yet well there is also a rogue rune guide that viral has already made so if you check out his video uh, on his channel he shows how to rune out your rogue so that's what you want to do and a faster way to upgrade your gear or even get your gear in the first place is there are daily quests offered by this character right here or if you're guardian I believe it's over here and do your dailies and then there will also be weekly quests that you get from this character over here and also another weekly quest here that you can do 
but as you finish these quests do not turn them in right off the bat if you have any kind of bo boosting potion take for instance if you have a favor increase potion or a token increase potion you do not want to turn in your quests unless they're dailies you know you can turn in your dailies as you go but get all of your weeklies done and then whenever you got all of them stacked up and go ahead and do your dailies for that day and do not turn them in and then pop your potions and turn them all in at once that way you get all this increased favor tons of increased tokens as well and you'll be upgrading your gear extremely fast and yeah but that doesn't usually work for the the top tier gear so if you're working on uh, Marmadon marks at the time of this video it does not uh, those potions do not increase token generation for Marmadon marks it works for warlord and all of that so yeah that's how to gear up your character I hope this wasn't too long of a video or too boring I kind of get to rambling on sometimes but I tried to make it interesting if I can and hopefully this helps you out I will report uh, I almost want to repeat it all just so you guys do not want to buy up all the freelancer gear before you start getting those other items but I'm not going to do it alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure that you hit the like button and give it a thumbs up leave a comment below if you like I respond to most comments so hope you enjoyed the video and my name is Graham and I'll see you next time